a little bit of progress on this. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, begun actually gutting it. <laughs> I mean, I've got the, there's the air conditioner. My drill laying on it. Um, that was easy to get off. We just held on by four bolts. Stuck through that little, probably can't see it, a little hole up there. Uh, there was only a, uh, I figured there was thermostat stuff run to it, but there wasn't. Because there is a thermostat on the wall. Apparently that was just for the heat. The only thing running to it was a 14-2 Romex. That's it. So that was easy. All the controls just kind of folded up into it. I think I can actually use that as an air conditioner without having to put it on the roof. I'm going to try to find a space that I can mount it and run duct work to a return and to air vents. And there's already vents that I can get. I can get the little round vents, save all those. There's like three or four of them, something like that. And I'll just put those all through the house. Actually, they had came from the furnace, but that furnace is, I think it's shot. Uh, okay, I took my sliding door out also. I'm going to reuse that on the bathroom. I kind of, the track is bent just a little bit, but it does slide. It's got a little spot in it there. I'll have to smooth out, but it does slide. Um, I'm going to have to devise another kind of latch because I don't know whatever happened to the other piece that went with this. So I'll have to take all this off. Um, here's another cabinet. I'm trying to salvage all I can. I don't know if I actually use them or not, but. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing a camper now. I'm doing a tiny home. And it's going to be a, what they call a tiny house on a uh, on wheels. That's what I'm going to build instead of building just a camper. I actually have plans drawn up for my tiny house. Uh, I'll probably put them at the end of this video and show you. But here is the refrigerator cabinet. I managed to get it out without tearing it up. And I know it's got a gap right here, but actually that's going to come in handy because the refrigerator is going to sit here and then the kitchen is going to be right here. The kitchen sink is going to be right beside of it. So that's going to be covered anyway. I need to get that other cabinet out over there. It's the, the kitchen cabinet. Um, I did manage to get out the toilet and the bathtub. And... I don't know if there's any kind of paint that I could use. I would really like for them to be, well, that one is white, but I would really like for this tub to be more white. I think it was the skylight in there. Uh, this is sun damage because that skylight is constantly, you know, allowing sunlight to come in. I know it filters out some of it, but it, apparently some of it's making it through because that has yellowed a whole lot. It wasn't even that yellow. It looked like the toilet when I first got it, and that's only been a few years ago. So it's been yelling pretty fast. Also, I have I'm starting on tearing out the sink and stuff. Already got the plumbing unhooked from it. Here's the medicine cabinet out of the bathroom. It's still in good shape. I took out the stove top. And I'm going to try to salvage these cabinets, uh, which I will probably end up eliminating that door because I'm going to have an oven also. I've, I've already got the oven. I just I would have to cut it. I guess I cut it here and over there. That way I can drop the whole thing down in there. And I, I think there's enough room that I can still have my bottom cabinet. Actually, there's really not much in there because right there is the water heater. And that is, that is more than likely where I'm going to end up putting it back at anyway. So I want to keep all my stuff that's going to hook the gas and water close to each other. So if I can keep them in the same cabinet, this cabinet, and then the refrigerator cabinet on the end of it right here. And I'm going to try to get these out. This vent hood 
it's really kind of nice. It tells you how much voltage you have in your battery. Tells how full the tanks are. Got hood and uh, fan. Uh, water pump control. I mean, it's all right here on this vent hood, so I definitely want to keep that. You have to have a vent hood, especially if you're using propane, because you don't want those fumes floating around where you're living at. But it is definitely a mess. <laughs> Here is a little bucket full of all these lights. These are water stained too, some of them, some of them's not. Uh, save a couple of plugs. This high track. Saved it. Uh, little mini bond. I don't know, I'll probably throw that away. But I've, actually, I have a lamp over here. I probably need to make sure that I don't throw stuff on top of it like I've been doing. Um, I'm almost to the point that once I get these cabinets out and that, that's probably about all that I need to salvage. Well, I need to get the electrical out, but that's not going to be a problem after I get this out. I can unhook everything and it runs through here, through the bathroom, all the wires, run through, through this wall, including the plumbing too. I'm going to try to save all that I can. It's flexible type so I can probably maneuver it around and reclamp it. And all these wires go right into here. I'm trying to save all the wires I can because wires are expensive. And there is some of this duct work that I'm going to try to save. This stuff is nasty looking, but it's still in good shape. It just needs, it's dusty. I've got a lot of this cable. That's the, pop, that's the main power cable. I don't know if I'm going to try to salvage these or not. I might try to. I do like those cabinets. I guess according to the plans that I've grown up, I don't know where I'm really going to put them. Maybe over top of the couch. I don't know. But the problem is, the area over the couch is going to be wider than this was. So I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, okay, let me show you. I've got all my, or some of my appliances over here. Of course, you've seen the vacuum stuff. Here is my fridge, it's covered up, it's a Norcold, and it does uh, gas or electric. It's a pretty good size. I got, actually I grabbed that access panel, I don't know, I don't really like the looks of that anyway, because I'm going to have actual siding on the outside, and that's kind of going to mess with the look of it. Here is the kitchen sink, it's filthy, and a little cook, cook stove or cooktop, whatever you want to call it. That's all there is to it, you know. Got the little uh, top that goes on there. That's pretty much it on that. Here is my covered in weeds. I don't know if it's any good anymore. There's my oven. Down in there. I need to get that out of there. Um, I've got a couple of closet door things here. These little, these were sliding doors at one time. They were actually in the house. And there's the bathroom door that was on it. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it put up so it don't get wet. It's already got wet once because it rained on it today. And also, i got all the windows right here. They are desperately in need of some cleaning, but other than that, they're not hurt. Uh, yeah, RV windows, but I think maybe I can frame around them and make them look a little bit better. Actually put uh, some kind of trim, maybe, over them like this and come out. Or, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work something out. But it's kind of looks funny with no windows. Well, that's about all I've got.
for today. I think I'm going to call it a day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. A uh, small amendment to that last video. Uh, put the kitchen stuff out. It's got a little water heater, but that's that's easy. Just a little bit of unhooking. But now I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> I've got to a good stopping point. So, maybe, I don't know if I'll be able to do it tomorrow. I'm probably going to have to work tomorrow. I got rained out today, so I didn't have to work. It's the only reason I got to do this today. Most of the time, it's only going to be on weekends. Unless it's a rainy season, season, which it is right now. So, every time it rains, I get rained out at work. And that's when I get a chance to come work on stuff like this. Uh, I also noticed this is plywood back here. Believe it or not, um, I don't know if somebody redid the back of this. I always noticed that the back of the camper was the most solid part of it. That's because somebody had redone the whole thing in plywood. Or it was built like that. I don't know. Anyway, that'll about do it. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is the actual uh, kind of rough plans of what I wanted to do with my tiny house that I'm building on that camper. Uh, it's still going to be 8 foot wide by 20 foot long. Um, it's going to actually have a loft. This up here is the loft. It's got a, a, a bed and a little small walkway across here and then when you get over here this is a little porch that is actually above the couch here and there's an outside wall right here with a roof overhang it actually overhangs the little porch and you can go up and you can sit on the porch outside but you'll be sitting like eight foot high up in the air eight or ten feet or, or, or whatever and all through here you'll be able to look down and you'll be able to see the living room. You actually will be able to lay in the bed and watch the TV which will be right here. Um, this is the bathroom. A little shower. Uh, uh, the camper toilet. The small sink. This is where I'm going to put my sliding door. The one that I took out. Here is the kitchen sink and the stove and that whole thing that I ripped out, the, this countertop, is going to go here with the cabinets underneath. The refrigerator cabinet is going right here. Uh, I'm going to put a small dining room table. As you can see, this scale right here is two feet. Uh, each cube is two feet by two feet. So this table is a little bit more than two feet, you know, it'd be good enough for, you know, for a couple people to sit at. Uh, I'm going to have stairs right here. It, the stairwell, this is, this actually came from an app that I have on my phone. So, it's not the best uh, design, you know, it's made for a phone screen, so it's made to be tiny. But this stairwell is going to actually have closet space under it. I want to use every bit of the space that I can because after all it's a it's a tiny house so you only have so much space to begin with. Um, this will be a sectional. Uh, I'm probably going to use the cushions that are in the camper. I'll probably reupholster them and I have to make another one for a love seat. This one will be the right length. I'm just going to build like a bench here and a bench there and put upholstered cushions in here and I have a little coffee table here a TV stand and TV and there's an end table here. My door is going to still be on the same side and 
By the way, this is the tongue end of the trailer. I'm putting the bathroom and the kitchen on the tongue end, so the majority of the weight is forward. Um, that should help with the handling of the camper or the home. And I'm going to use a two foot door right here for my main entry door. And of course, I've already went over this. Now, another thing. I'm going to have height problems if I leave the roof high enough for me to walk around. See, I could use a gabled roof here and have enough room to crawl up, you know, go up the stairs and crawl into the bed and not be able to actually set up or anything. But, you know, I could sit up right exactly in the middle where the peak of the roof was, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have a full room up here, too and I'm going to have room to walk on this side. I'm going to have room out here. The way I'm going to do that is, crazy as it sounds, it will work because I actually did this to a motorhome that I had at one time. I made a second story on it, but it folded down. As you can see, the walls will be hinged up here. It's a very, very rough drawing. I just did this really quick. Uh, the walls will be hinged here, here, and there, here, here, and there, of course, and they collapse and let the roof down. Now, this wall will fold up and it will latch to the roof itself underneath so that when everything is folded down, there will be actual supports running down through here. I may have to move the window over or put two windows or something, I'm not sure because uh, I'm going to have a support running right down through here that is going to extend about this far so that, or about this far, far enough that I can reach it. And that support is what I'm going to grab. It'll be hanging all the way down to here when it's folded. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to push that up on both ends and that's how I'll extend my roof. Now on my RV I actually made electrical jacks to pick it up, but that was pretty complicated. I may still do that, I don't know. Uh, it may be a lot nicer just to be able to push a button and just have it raise up, but you know, it, that all just kind of comes along with everything else. Now this would be the tongue end because this is a solid wall. On the other end you're going to have a porch which will have supports coming down like that in the middle that will uh, fall down once you push this part up. That's uh, the basic plans. I don't have any framing schematics or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to do all that you know as I go along but that's about all that I've got right now. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you think this is a good idea or if you think uh, there could be any problems. I mean, I don't want to build it and there will be problems with it. Uh, I'd like to know your opinions. And thank you for watching.